Hi, I'm Harish from Faculty of Physical Science and Engineering. Light can be very powerful when focused. You might remember from your school days that you can burn a hole through a paper by focusing sunlight with a magnifying glass on a normal sunny day. In a similar fashion, lasers produce tightly focused intense beams of light. But unlike sunlight, which is made of several rainbow colors, a laser is made of a single rainbow color. And unlike your fluorescent lamp, which emits light in all directions, a laser is highly directional. Many lasers, ranging from small to medium parts, are used extensively in our daily lives, like in a CD player or in a laser eye surgery. But I am interested in building high power lasers. Nowadays, high power lasers are used extensively in industries for laser welding and laser cutting or they can be used to treat nuclear waste material in a power plant. And recently, a high power laser was used to make one of the biggest discoveries of the century. Yes, as many of you might have rightly guessed, the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, or the LIGO, used laser interferometric setup to detect gravitational waves. LIGO used a highly narrow band laser, which can also be termed as a single frequency laser to detect these extremely weak gravitational waves. My research is to build such high power single frequency lasers for various applications using hair thin glass rods called optical fibers. An optical fiber is ideally suited to build high power laser as it can dissipate heat very quickly and is highly efficient compared to other methods of laser generation. Even though an optical fiber is very well suited, there are certain processes occurring within the fiber at very high laser powers which limit the amount of power it can get. One of the prominent and foremost effects when you are trying to raise the power level of a single frequency laser in an optical fiber is the generation of density fluctuations similar to sound waves. These sound waves which travel along the length of this fiber act in a way as to oppose the growth of the laser power. My thesis, in particular, focuses on finding ways of suppressing these sound waves and getting out as much power as possible. Even though my research is at a nascent stage, it will form an important building block of extremely powerful super lasers which are yet to come in the future. Thanks for listening.